Hello everybody and um this is my 16th tutorial I believe on Allegro and um this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you about sound in Allegro so you know how let me zoom in first so you know how oh, we install the mouse and the keyboard now we have to install the sound so do as I do install underscore sound then I have to put digi underscore auto detect comma midi underscore auto detect and now we have to put um quotation marks and a uh, capital A I don't know why I have to put capital A there but if you don't do that the sound won't work now we that allows us to put, um, to put sound into Allegro. So, um, just so you know, Allegro only accepts on um, like the default libraries are MIDI and Wave. If you want to load another type of sound file, you're gonna have to look into a, an additional library that allows you to load and play additional sound files. But the only ones that um, Allegro plays are MIDI and Wave. And I would advise if you have background music that the background music is MIDI because the MIDI is a compressed type file and wave files aren't compressed and that means wave files take up more space and if you have background music which is t which tends to be long if you have background music as a wave file then it tends to take up a lot of space so if you can just do MIDI but if you do MIDI then most likely you're gonna have to make the music yourself but so I ha I make music. Um, I make music as a hobby, and I make music with Evo Studio. So I have a MIDI file here. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm sick. So just like our other tutorials, we go to C++ project. Well, this is my is wait for it to load. Go to Lego tutorial. And I'm going to drag my MIDI file in there. And I called it the hustle. And I'll, I'll change it. I am I normally make hip hop beats and stuff. So also I call it the hustle. And I say it's background.mid. And I'm still going to show you how to load WAV files and MIDI files. So. To load um a WAV file, so WAV files. Maybe I should make it like this. WAV files. You um WAV files are considered samples for some reason in Allegro, but remember WAV files are samples. Okay, so first thing you're gonna wanna create the sample. So you put you so you put. Alright, let me not comment this. I put you put sample and remember the asterisk and the sample's name. So I'll put beep sound or whatever beep and you put beep is equal to load underscore sample and you put the meet the wave files name right. So say it was on um, beep dot wave, and then and to play that sample, to play that sound, put play sample, and this means which sample to play. So you put beep, and the volume which ranges from zero to two fifty five. So the higher the number, so two fifty five is the loudest, zero is the lowest. So I'd play the loudest. Um, the pan pan really means which speaker comes out of. So if it comes the left speaker or the right speaker, and if you put 128, then it comes out both speakers equally, right? And the frequency means how fast it plays the song by 1,000 being normal. So if you wanted to play the song double the speed, you'd put 2,000. And if you wanted to play the sound half the speed you put 500 right 
and the last one is to loop so it asks if you want to loop the sound or the music so it's basically true or false if you put true when it's done playing or just keep on looping looping over and over and over again until you delete it now if you want to stop or oh, maybe I should put that back so you guys can see that so um so if you want to stop the sample for whatever reason just put stop underscore sample and the sample's name and it will stop automatically right and it, a good habit in programming is to destroy what you've used so you destroy the things in memory because in Java they have a job a garbage collection in C++ they don't so you should always destroy something you use so you just delete it from memory so you don't have memory leakage you know what I mean he puts destroy sample and sample's name and it's destroyed right easy enough so now let's get into MIDI's so in order to MIDI's are just known as MIDI's in Allegro which can make it easier I want to name it back I'm going to name it background and to load a MIDI it is load MIDI and the MIDI's name so it was background dot mid and this is a song me and my brother made just so you know <coughs> that I'm loading onto and uh, I'll I'll put his channel in the description if you like hip hop beats you can go to his channel. I have another channel for music but I don't use it anymore. But anyways uh so we load the MIDI. Now to play MIDI file you just put play underscore MIDI and you put the MIDI file it's less than the play sample you just put the MIDI file and if it loops or not. So yeah I'll put true since it's the background music to keep on looping and that's basically it. And for some reason I don't think they have a stop MIDI function. Like when I put stop MIDI it doesn't select which MIDI to stop so I guess if you do that it will stop all the MIDI files at once I'm not really sure and if you want to destroy it you put destroy underscore MIDI and you put which MIDI file you want to destroy and that's basically it so if I were to if I were to run this program so I'm gonna play this song and you might not so do my speaker is do my microphone and um do my microphone and my program you won't be able to hear it so I'm gonna run the program then I'm gonna overlap it with the music so you'll be able to hear the music so just listen when I edit it I'll overlap it with the music so here it goes Just a little taste of the song that we're making. Not sure if we're gonna continue or not, but whatever. So that's how you load and you play songs. Like, um, and I like girl. And if you get any errors or something's not working, then just leave a comment and I'll tell you how to fix it. And I hope this video was very helpful and informational. And I hope you look forward to the next tutorial. So thanks for watching and bye. Thank you